Are you having a hard time remembering where you left your keys or remembering people's names? Well, you're not alone. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you my top tips on helping to retain your memory and improve your brain function. Hey everyone, this is Stephanie from Fast Track to Health Wellness Center. Welcome to the channel. I'm going to dive right into it today and share with you my top tips for helping to improve your brain function and memory. Okay, so here we go. The number one thing is diet. So how good is your diet? So the brain requires a lot of nutrients to perform optimally. So you have to make sure you're getting a good fats into your diet, quality protein, and you're avoiding the bad things such as processed foods and sugar. And some really awesome brain boosting foods are things like blueberries, healthy fats like avocados, coconut oil, essential fatty acids coming from things like wild caught fish, uh, eggs are excellent for the brain health and the spice turmeric. I'm sure you've heard of turmeric, curcumin, awesome for the brain. So make sure that your diet is doing really well. I have other videos on this, so I will link that here for you. So second thing, you want to be careful of the negative thoughts and patterns in your life. So when you start thinking of something negative or you're just complaining, all of that takes a toll on your brain. So when you catch yourself, having a lot of negative thoughts or complaining a lot stop yourself and just try to refocus and think about something more positive positive. and that even includes people so if you surround yourself with a lot of negative people you take in that energy and that's bad for your brain too so try to surround yourself with more positive people even the things that you listen to the people you follow try to keep it positive because that has a huge influence on your brain and your life okay so next this is a really big one and i did this right before i shot this video today exercise exercise is so important for the brain not only does it get blood circulating throughout your body but especially to your brain it improves your mood it improves your cognitive function it is amazing so make sure you're getting exercise on a regular basis especially in the morning that's a great time to work out and even better if you can get outside to work out now and then or in nature that really helps with your brain as well okay so next big on this list is sleep Okay, I have other videos uh, about sleep that you can watch to go into more detail, but sleep is so important for the brain health for many reasons. One of the main reasons is that's when your memories are formed when you are sleeping. So you have to make sure that your sleep is optimized. Second, it helps clean out the plaques while you're sleeping too, to help prevent things like Alzheimer's in the future. Lastly, dreams. Dreaming is really important for creativity, for you to come up with ideas. So you have to optimize your sleep in order to be able to dream effectively. So make sure you're getting quality sleep. And again, check out my other videos on sleep so you can get some tips on that. So next, and this is another topic that I talk about a lot, uh, to reduce your stress. So we all know that stress is detrimental to the body in many ways, okay? It affects our hormones, it affects our stress hormones go up, okay? When the stress hormones go up, there's less blood flow to the brain, it's going into the extremities. So you can have a flight or flight reaction. So stress is very damaging and harmful overall. So try to find ways to reduce your stress. I have videos on this as well. Some things that you can try, deep breathing, meditation, yoga, acupuncture, whatever it takes for you to help reduce your stress on a regular basis that will definitely help your brain function and your memory. Okay, next, this is a big one too. The brain never stops learning. So the whole thing about old dogs can't learn new tricks is so not true. Your brain will learn lifelong. So you have to keep giving it things to learn to improve the function of your brain and for longevity. So start learning new things, keep reading, keep learning, keep yourself interested in new topics. It's never too late. You're never too old to do this. So start either taking on a new hobby or just reading something different. Always keep learning, that's really important. Okay, last but certainly not least, 
are, you can take certain supplements because if your body is deficient, let's say your diet isn't that great, or you're under a lot of stress, which will reduce some of your nutrients, it might be a good idea to take certain supplements. Now, everybody is gonna need different things, so it's good to work with someone. We can definitely help you out with this, give you a customized protocol. However, I want to mention some of the main supplements that you can use for brain health. One of the most important ones are the omega-3 essential fatty acids, DHA, EPA. These are crucial to the forming brain in babies and throughout our lives. We have to make sure we're getting essential fatty acids into our diet. And if we're not, we need to supplement with those. So things like fish oil, we use a variety of products in our clinic um, that are made from either tuna or other clean sources of omega-3 fatty acids, so that's super duper important. Uh, another supplement that we use that you may have never heard of is called RNA, which stands for ribonucleic acids. So this is really important for protein utilization in the body and also helps with building the cells. So people who are starting to lose their memory or have a hard time of remembering people, we give them RNA and that really helps with cognitive function overall. We use the RNA from a company called Standard Process and it's an excellent supplement for that. Now let's move on to the herbal side. We use two products for brain health and memory from the company called MediHerb. The first one I'm sure you've heard of before, it's called Ginkgo. The supplement we use is called Ginkgo Forte and ginkgo is amazing for improving circulation to the brain and it's really awesome for short-term memory and alzheimer's prevention and alertness and then lastly we use something called bacopa complex which contains bacopa which is an amazing herb for medium and long-term memory. So this one we especially find useful for students who are studying and trying to remember information for tests and things like that. It's good for retention and such. So that's, those are the supplements, omega-3 fatty acids, ribonucleic acid, ginkgo, and bacopa. I'm sure there are lots of other supplements that you can take. Like I said, everyone is different, is gonna need different things, but these are just some basics. So hope this was helpful, you guys. Let me know in the comments below, are you suffering from memory loss? Have you, are you having a hard time remembering things? I wanna know, okay? All right, guys, thanks, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.